Hi there. Calculating combinations and permutations by hand can be really tedious. It's a whole lot easier with Excel. Let me show you how. So here's a quick example. Let's say you, uh, you've, given, you've been given a poker deck of 52 cards and you want to know how many different hands could you be dealt. So this is a combinations question. Um, and we can calculate the number of different ways um, by hand. Let's do that first real quick and then let's do the Excel. So we have a combinations which means we're doing 52 and we're choosing 5. And the formula for that is 52 factorial over 5 factorial over 52 minus 7 oops, minus 5 <laughs> factorial. 52 minus 5 gives us our 47. Okay. So 52 over 5 factorial over 47 factorial. Now we could key this in by hand into a calculator. That gets tough. So let's switch over to Excel and see how we could do this using um, Excel's factorial formula. The factorial function in Excel is F-A-C-T, in parentheses, and then your um, the number that you need to calculate for factorial. Unfortunately, the exclamation mark doesn't work. That's a different thing in Excel. So we want 52, and then we're going to divide by a bunch of stuff. Let's key in here. Uh, we want factorial of 5. And then we're also multiplying by factorial of 52 minus 5. And we can key that in. And there seem to be a whole lot of different ways that you could have this. There are, if we get rid of our decimals and do some formatting, about 2.598 million. So 2.6 million different kinds of hands that you could be dealt with uh, with a single deck and five, uh, like a five card draw kind of poker. That's a lot. Um, now, you might get confused with the factorial formula, um, you know, having to remember whether it's 52 factorial and is it 5 factorial or is it, is it 52 minus 5 factorial? You might forget that formula. So, fortunately, Excel actually has a combinations formula built in. So, you don't really need to roll your own using this factorial formula. So, we could get the same exact thing. Um, starting off with uh, all formulas start off with an equal sign and then we have combin and then um, we open up our parentheses we get a prompt and it says well how many and then how many right so uh, how many uh, cards do we have it's 52 and then we're choosing how many we're going to be choosing five and then Excel is going to do the factorials for us and we get the same number if we format this guy we see we get the same exact thing. So if you just remember, okay, this is a combinations question, then if you have Excel, you can just key in combin, and then it prompts you for all those other inputs. So it's rather straightforward. We're gonna see that it's uh, just as straightforward to do a permutations question. Let's give it a look. Okay, so here's a permutations question. Let's say you've got 20 friends at school. You're like a popular person. And you were trying to figure out, hmm, who should I rank as my first best friend, second best friend, and third best friend? So order matters here, which means this is a permutations question. So you want to give first, second, and third prize to, well, three people, but it's out of 20, and order matters. This is a permutations question. How could we do this if we were, um, let's get my pen. How could we do this if we were doing it by hand? So the thing to remember is the permutations question. So we have, oops, 20 permute 3. And that general formula is 20 factorial over um, 20 minus 3 factorial. All right. So that's 20 times 19. See, 20 minus 3 is 17, so we only go up to 18, and then the 17s cancel. So we could key this into a calculator just by saying 20 times 19 times 18. 
We could also use Excel's factorial formula or its built-in permutations formula. Let's give that a look. Okay, so we're going to answer our question with Excel. Start off always with an equal sign. And if we're going to use the factorial formula, we need factorial of 20 divided by, and then we're going to have factorial of 20 minus 3. So we get a whole bunch of different possible orderings that we could have uh, top 3 um, out of 20. We could uh, just as easily use a uh, direct calculation using Excel's permutation formula. The permutation formula is permut, not permute. I don't know why, because typing an extra letter was just way too complicated for Excel, so permut it is. So start off your parentheses, and then it prompts you what is the number, and then what is the number chosen. So we had 20 possible friends, and we need to choose how to order three of them. Key that in, we get the same exact answer. So the combinations and permutations are just combin and permut in Excel, um, and it's really a whole lot um, easier to use than factorials. It's also more precise because Excel with factorials, uh, that number can get really, really big, and it can give Excel some problems. So, for example, if you wanted to do the factorial of 200, let's say you had a, a set of 200 people and you wanted to figure out who the top three were, um, if you're just the numerator there, factorial of 200 immediately exceeds Excel's capabilities. Um, so if you wanted to pick the top three, you couldn't do that using factorials, but you could do per month 203, and it gives you a, an answer. So, um, so try using the uh, direct formulas for combinations and permutations. It'll uh, help you out a lot. You won't run into problems like you would if you use factorials. Thanks for listening.